First, I want to give honor to God for letting me be able to accept this award, NCAA Hitter of the Year Award. I've always won this award since I started playing volleyball in sixth grade. I never imagined that it I would actually get this award. I'm very excited and blessed and thankful to be able to accept this award. Uh, I was raised in a small city outside of Austin called Fullerville with two parents. My mother um, played basketball. She did softball and track. My dad did football, track, and boxing. So I was always involved in sports. I started out playing basketball when I was a little girl. And then once I got to sixth grade, my cousin, my older cousin introduced me to volleyball. And I want to thank her very much um, for introducing me to volleyball because now I have so much love for the game and I wouldn't be here without her introducing me into the game of volleyball. I want to thank my parents for always pushing me and believing in me, always instilling the confidence in me because without them, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't know right from wrong. I wouldn't know to have confidence in myself and whenever I get down to you know I can pick myself back up and I always knew they were going to be right there for me. I just want to thank my parents for that. Man, the practices, the long practices I've had. I mean, everybody sees the outcome of the sports and what we do, but nobody sees the hardship. And the long practices, I used to stay up until you know midnight just trying to get some more practices in the gym and trying to work on my blocking and my my um, ball skills and my spiking, just everything. Just want to be work to get better. So that's one hardship that you know I. A lot of people just see the outcome, but they never see, like, the struggle that comes with, you know, the success. Also, you know, there's coaches who, you know, didn't believe in me, who didn't think that I would be here right now, who didn't even think I would make it to, you know, play college ball. And I want to thank them for that because they, like, ignited a fire in me to keep pushing, to keep working, to keep going. So I want to thank them for, for that as well. And then, you know, I had some injuries that, you know, I thought was going to stop me. But it didn't. I sprained my ankle my freshman year of um, volleyball, and I was set back for about six to seven games. That was pretty much a lot um, of my season. And then I had some shoulder injuries just from the constant swinging um, of the ball. Ever since I've been in sixth grade, so just the constant wear and tear on my body, it's been very painful to the shoulders. So that's another injury that kind of set me back a little bit. But I mean, like they say, every you know setback is for a great combat. So. That was good too. I just want to thank you know my my parents of course my mom my dad my brother my cousin Cheryl for introducing me to the game of volleyball my high school coach for letting me be on the varsity team and my club coach for helping me get to the NCAA level and my college coach for keeping me um, working hard and just keeping all the positivity in my life. And to help me get this award, I'm very, very and truly thankful. You know, for all the kids who people said, like, you will never be able to amount to anything, keep striving for your goal. Don't let anybody stop you. Always have confidence in yourself and always believe in yourself. From the great Will Smith in The Pursuit of Happiness, I quote, Don't ever let someone tell you that you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. You want something, go get it. Period. Thank you very much for this award.